Hey Vlogmas, what is up? Welcome back to day 10 for today's Vlogmas video. We're going to do a little bit more of a casual sit down video because I've been getting a lot of questions about Lululemon's new parent backpack and the new parent tote bag. So I want to kind of sit down and chat some of the similarities, differences, and which ones I like better and why. So if you are an expecting parent or know someone who is expecting and you're curious about the Lululemon backpacks, hopefully this video is helpful for you. I will have them both linked down below in the description. So be sure to check that out in case you want to shop any of them. It really helps support my channel here and I appreciate it when you guys shop with my links. But if you want to know more about the Lululemon diaper bags, then just keep on watching. All right, to start off, let's go over what the new parent tote bag looks like. This is the newer diaper bag that Lululemon came out with. It is 20 liters in volume. It is quite large, honestly, but let's get into what pockets and features it comes with. So on the outside, it has this one main zippered pocket for easy access items. And inside it has one little mesh pocket as well to store some essentials. On the outside of the bag, it has two little water bottle carrying pouches. It does have two durable kind of handles to it and then also one crossbody strap. So you could carry it both ways, either over the shoulder like this or of course over the shoulder or crossbody as well. These are removable so you could take off the longer strap if you didn't want that. Then on the top of the bag here you have two kind of open pockets, one on each side for again easy access items and then it has the one main zippered compartment. In that compartment all the Lululemon diaper bags do come with the smaller kind of removable one that is a crossbody so it has the crossbody strap and also the changing mat inside. Again, you can always take this out and just use this in the regular diaper bag, but this is what the little pouch looks like inside. So it has two small mesh pockets and then one zipper compartment in the front here, just like that. So that's what the small diaper bag that comes inside looks like. And then in the main compartment here, we have four mesh pockets, two on each side of the bag kind of hard to show you and then one obviously open main compartment so that is the overview of the new parent tote bag okay and then here's what it looks like when i am wearing it so this is obviously just over the shoulder here it is not filled yet so i'm going to do another try on when it is filled and then this is what it would look like with the strap kind of where i would wear it fully extended though i think it does go down quite a bit okay and this is with it fully extended as you can see it does go down pretty much to my knee here it's kind of hard to see all in frame but it does go quite long for the crossbody strap and then obviously you could tighten it and this is what it would look like with the longer strap fully tightened i don't it's quite short <laughs> when you do tighten it all the way so that's what the bag looks like on okay so now let's go through what i would actually put in the diaper bag here so starting with the front little pocket i like to keep mostly essentials and easy grab things so the first thing i always put in are feminine hygiene products then i'm going to add some lotion and hand sanitizer into here i always carry a tie to go pen because babies obviously make stains. <laughs> Next, I'm going to add a lip balm and a hair, an extra hair elastic slash scrunchie, and of course my wallet. So that's everything for the front little pouch. Okay, in the little back pocket here, I am going to put the little changing mat. I'm not going to include the whole removable little small diaper bag. Normally I would just take this with me. So then we have diapers and wipes, of course, the whole point of the diaper bag. So let's add those. Also a change of outfits because, you know, blowouts happen and always need a change of outfits. I always take this little muslin swaddle as a nursing cover. So we're going to add that. And then I like to add some Kleenex and Lysol wipes along with pacifier slash toy wipes and some pacifiers. He doesn't really take pacifiers, but sometimes I like just to have them on hand just in case. We also have a toy for him, a very small container of diaper cream. It's like the sample size of the pseudo cream, but we don't usually use diaper cream that much. So I only pack a small amount. Then I also have some doggy poop bags for any blowouts. That's always good to have on hand. And then of course my keys, and I actually put that in the side pocket where like you would put water bottles, but I just find that that's the easiest access 
place for me to just grab them. And finally, we have a burp cloth because, you know, always need one of those. So that is everything I would normally take in my diaper bag. Now I will show you what it looks like packed. It still has lots of room to add more items. So the reason I bought this diaper bag is more for like day trips, if we had a longer day trip or even an overnight trip where I needed to pack a little bit more, a few extra changes of clothes, clothes for me, etc. So let me give you an overview of what this actually looks like packed and then we're gonna grab some more stuff of what I pack for an overnight trip. Okay, so here's what the little front pocket looks like. I kind of just shoved everything in there you could also put you know stuff down here but i just like that this is a little bit more secure so that's what that looks like we have my keys over here and then the changing mat back here for easy access and then we have all of our wipes and diaper creams and things a change of outfits his toy the swaddle burp cloth these are down here and then we have the wipes and the diapers and then nothing in this pocket so far, but that's what it would look like packed for a regular day trip. All right, I grabbed some extra stuff, so let's see how this fits in the tote bag. So I would be packing Hudson an extra pair of clothes and socks. I would be packing him an extra pair of pajamas, a bib. I always take my Solly Baby soft wrap carrier as well when we are going on longer day trips. He is getting a little bit too big for this now, but in the newborn phase, I would be packing this, so I wanted to include it just to see how it fit in the diaper bag. And then I also did grab a change of clothes for me because you just never know with spit up or blowouts if you're going to need a change of clothes so let's pack this up and see how it looks okay and here's what it looks like all packed up with the rest of the items so we have all of the clothes in here i did tuck my Sully baby wrap into the front kind of unzippered pocket and then everything kind of just got shoved into the main compartment so let's see if this zips up all right this is what it looks like zipped up so it still zips up quite generously. I probably would add a water bottle on this side if I was going for a longer day trip slash overnight trip. That is what it would look like. Okay, and here's what it would look like all packed up over the shoulder. And I feel like, I don't know, the straps are kind of wide. It does have a tendency to maybe slip off. And then here's what it would look like crossbody with the long strap just over the shoulder like this. I actually wear a crossbody. Here's what it would look like quite packed up. So that is the overview of the new parent tote bag. All right, and now let's chat about the new parent backpack. This is the main diaper bag I've been using since having my baby and I have honestly loved it. So let's take a look at all of the features and what is included. So of course we have the main front zippered pocket here. Again, the same thing, it has one kind of mesh pocket inside. Then we have two water bottle holders on each side of the diaper bag here. This is more of a backpack format, clearly, but the cool thing about this is that it actually can hook onto your stroller, so you can undo these little clips here and actually hook it over the kind of bar of your stroller, like the handlebar of the stroller, which I really like. It has a trolley compatible sleeve here as well if you are traveling, and then of course a little loop here to hang it up. On the back, it also has a little hidden zippered compartment for easy access items like your keys wallet etc and then of course it has the main zippered compartment here with the of course removable and portable diaper bag with the changing mat inside and then it has a main kind of pocket here that is fabric a smaller mesh pocket inside and four smaller pockets inside there in the backpack what it kind of looks like honestly lots of space this one is 17 liters in volume size so let's go ahead and pack this one up and see what can fit inside all right starting off with the main zippered compartment here obviously going to add the pretty much the same things as the tote bag so wallet feminine hygiene products we got my lip balm and tied to go pen we have a hand lotion and hand sanitizer and also my scrunchie and that is everything for the front compartment. For the side pocket here, I always like to throw my keys. 
for easy access. Then in the main compartment, first thing I like to put in the space back here is the changing pad as well as a burp cloth. One other thing I forgot to mention that I would probably keep in my diaper bags is a Ziploc bag for any blowouts because you can keep the mess contained. Then obviously we have diapers and wipes and I like to put that in the bigger mesh pocket at the back here along with our handful of diapers. Next thing I keep is a spare change of clothes. Then I have my Kleenex and Lysol wipes, my pacifier and toy wipes along with the pacifiers. Also have a roll of doggy poop bags, my muslin swaddle slash nursing cover, and sometimes I take my Solly baby wrap. So that's everything for that pocket. Sometimes in the back pocket here, I'll either keep my dongle or another lip balm or something, but currently I don't have anything in that pocket. So I'll show you what this looks like all packed up. Okay, here's what the front pocket looks like, all packed up. And here's the main compartment. I took some of the stuff out just so you can see better. So diapers, wipes, burp cloth, and then all of the other wipe type things. Passy wipes, pacifiers are in this one, and then his change of clothes are over here. And then adding in the rest, we have the toy, my Solly Baby Wrap, and the muslin swaddle in there. So still lots of room, and obviously that closes very easily. And here's what it looks like on while I'm wearing it. So super sleek, super compact. That is the new parent backpack. Okay, but now let's discuss the pros and cons of each bag. So starting with the new parent backpack, because this is the one I have been using the most. I absolutely love this bag. I think it is the perfect size. I love all the compartments to it. It makes me feel very organized as a mom. And I love that you can obviously wear it as a backpack. It can attach to your stroller bag or a suitcase with the trolley compatible sleeve. It still fits a lot, everything that we need for a day trip. And it is just super sleek and compact. It looks nice. So even even Damon can wear it as well. It's not like too girly. And it also doesn't really look like a diaper bag specifically, which leads me on to my next point is that I think that this doesn't necessarily just have to be used as a diaper bag. I will probably use it when Hudson is done in diapers anyways, but it would also make a great travel bag. This would make a great like camera gear bag if you are like in tech or something because it has plenty of compartments for like your lenses or SD cards or camera bodies, whatnot. I think that this is a great bag. The one downside is that if you are doing formula or if you're pumping, it does not have any insulated specific pockets to keep that item. Um, so that would be the one downside if you are going that route, but I am exclusively nursing. So for me, that is not a deterring factor. So overall, I actually really like this bag. I definitely think it's worth the price tag. I love that it comes with a changing mat and a smaller diaper bag. We do use that one if we are on the go for a very, very short period of time. And I know we only need diapers. If not, it does make me feel more comfortable bringing the entire bag with a change of outfits, with toys, with my nursing cover, etc. Um, in case I need it and that all fits in here beautifully. It also isn't like too heavy just on its own, so I like that, but very sleek and compact. Would highly recommend the new parent backpack. I think they have three different colors right now, and that is kind of my thoughts on that one. Now, talking about the new parent tote bag, like I was saying, I did buy this for more overnight trips or day trips, something with a longer time period that we might be out of the house because it does have 20 liters of volume. However, I don't think that that three liters of volume translates as nicely as I was hoping it would. So the front pocket is mostly the same, but I do find that this one is maybe not as well organized as the new parent backpack. It does lack some of the pockets for organization, I think in the main compartment. I do like that it has two extra on the kind of top of the bag. However, these aren't zippered, so I wouldn't put anything valuable in there. It is nice for easy access, like the changing pad or like a burp cloth or maybe a change of clothes, but anything small could get lost if it like fell out of the bag. And with the kind of majority of the volume space in the main compartment without the actual mesh pockets, I just feel like it's starting to become a abyss of items in here. And I had to like stack items on top of each other and you have to like dig through it to kind of 
of like get to what you need or find what you need which i don't love as much yes you could also buy you know more storage organizer kind of pouches and things to put in here but i feel like that kind of defeats the purpose of it and then you're just adding more things to the diaper bag so for that reason i don't love it for day to day the other reason i don't love it for day to day is i find it harder to carry obviously it's going to take up more room in the bottom of the stroller i don't love the handles on this like especially when it's heavy because then you're kind of going like this with a baby on the other side i just feel like like it's a little bit lopsided it's not as easy grab and go or I put the backpack on it's evenly weighted and then I have the baby however if you do have multiples I would say that this might be a little bit better because it is a little bit bigger so if you have like two under two and they're still in diapers if you have twins maybe this would be a better bet just because you can pack a little bit more in this one again it doesn't have any insulation for formula or if you're pumping so that would also be a downside of this but I do think that this one will be good for kind of more of an overnight bag where I'm not toting it around like the mall or on a walk or something like if we're kind of carrying this into the hotel room or if we're kind of in the car on a car trip this would be probably the diaper bag I'm gonna go with just because it is a little bit more of a like weekender shape and has a little bit more space and volume but like I said with the new parent backpack I feel like this could also make a great travel bag it does not necessarily just have to be a diaper bag a lot of people are looking for these online so if you do decide to go with one of these new parent items you could probably sell this resell this to be honest a lot of people want just this item and this could be your weekend bag your work bag something like that it does have lots of pockets for that purpose it could also make a great gym bag so many uses beyond just a diaper bag and I love that because I think the longevity of this bag is going to extend well beyond his diaper gears so that is a pro for me about investing in these I know they're expensive but just for that purpose alone I do like that again it's a very sleek design I think it's very unisex so it's not just like girly and kind of defined to oh the mom has to carry that like totally cool for dads to carry that too or parents in general but I hope you guys found this kind of comparison and overview of what I would keep in these diaper bags helpful if you did give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe to my channel for more Lulam content to come in the new year and we're finishing out vlogmas so you're not going to want to miss that and hit that notification bell to be notified when I post new videos thanks so much for watching leave me a comment down below if you tried one of the lululemon diaper bags or if not what is your favorite type of diaper bag and i hope to see you in the next video bye